नमस्कार हाँ बोलिए
Yes, sir. Okay. Now, this is the description and this is the cell. Hmm. So now I'm going to explain you the chemical reactions. What is happening? Can I rub it? This portion? Hello? Can I rub this portion? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you first try to understand, then you write. First of all, you should understand that what is a grid? Grid is a very hard solid mass substance. It is a plate is there. On the plate, the lead powder is being deposited on the, on the anode. And both of them are made up of lead, anode and cathode, but they are directly not taking part on the on the anode, this is a hard plate, and this plate contains soft means they melt the lead and then they spray the lead on the top of it. Okay, so this is the lead which is there, which I have grown. This is the one which reacts, and this is the support. This is for N. Don't write. And in cathode, what do you have? You have a coating of, of lead dioxide. So it is the cathode. And lead plate, which is called grid, which is nothing but a support. Okay. Now, reaction at N. At in electrochemical cell, always we write the anode first and followed by reaction that Okay, see, that I'm going to write separately. Reaction at anode, that you will write as, as a raft. I need a question writing. Reaction at this would write separate. See here. What is anode? This lead. So this is going to lose two electrons. Okay. And two electrons. See, most of the lead salts are insoluble. Most of the lead salts. <clears throat> so now what will happen? You have a in the one, the sulfuric acid is there. So now see here, this lead two plus this aqueous will react with sulfate ion. Okay, sulfuric acid is an electrolyte, it dissociates. So what does it give? It will give you PbSO4. This is an insoluble solid. So Electron goes out, lead ion, which forms immediately combines with the lead sulfate and form the lead, this one, PBS support, which sticks to the surface of the anode only. So now what happens? I'll write down. This and this will get cancelled. So we'll get now here yeah? PBS. I'll write, I'll instead of sulfuric acid, I'll write sulfate because sulfate has ionized. So you get now here PBSO4 solid plus two electrons. So I'll write it here now. Right, reaction at cathode. Okay, now, what you have now here? 
PVO. Please remember this oxidation stage is plus four. So it is going to form PB4 plus plus two O2 minus. Now PB4 plus will take two electron to become PB2 plus. See here. Like PB2 plus. So PB2 plus here again will combine with sulfate to give you PBSO. For from the sulfate has come from sulfuric acid. See here also you have sulfate, here also you have sulfate. See here, I'll write fast here. H2SO4. Gives you 2H plus and SO4 minus. See, here you have sulfate, here you have sulfate. So let me write here 4H plus 2SO4. So what is left of 4H plus? So 4H plus plus 2O2 minus will give us molecules of water. So I'll let me add here. Okay. So this and this get cancelled. This and this get cancelled. This and this gets cancelled. So what we are left out now here? We are left out with PBO2S plus 4H plus plus SO4 2 minus plus 2 electron give us PBSO4 this plus 2 H. So I'll write now here PBO2 4H plus SO4 2 minus plus 2 electron gives us PBSO4 plus 2 H2. This is the overall reaction. Now, PBS plus PB2S plus 4H plus plus 2SO4 2 minus. See if I combine, see I get a symbol. Gives us PBSO4 and 2H2. When this reaction is going to occur? This reaction is going to occur when it generates electricity. That is, your car is switched off. At that moment, you can use your music system. You can press the horn. You can use your light, whether inside the car or outside the car. So, in this case, what is happening? The battery is producing electricity, and that process is called discharge. Hmm. So, <coughs> on reaction, reaction on this. So this is the reaction on discharge. 
And this one you will write separately to understand the direction. How does it happen? So you write it separately in box. And this is the summary. So this will be there in the main direction. And this is, I have done only to, for that you to understand that how come you got lead sulfate at both the place. Okay, so now so once you switch on your car, the car has a dynamo, dynamo is there, motor is there, then motor produces direct current. Please remember, charging of the battery always being done by direct current. Because of that, in your mobile charger also, a DC converter is there. A small box is there, it converts. Because of our domestic purpose, we are being served with, supplied with alternative current. So that is being converted into direct current. So when the engine is on, then the electricity flows in the reverse direction. And by that way, again, see here what happens. This, these are anode. This is anode, I'll write here now. This is anode, this is cathode, anode, cathode, anode, cathode. So if your, <coughs> when your car is not in use, constantly this anode undergoes corrosion. The time may come, all the spongy lead will finish. In that case, you'll find you'll, you'll not be able to produce sorry, start your engine. So even if the car is not in use, at least daily or if not alternatively, you should switch on the in, uh, car, uh, car engine minimum half an hour. Why? When you switch on that, then reverse process of the charging of the battery of gas. And you know, as I told you, when you send, electricity from external source in the opposite direction. In that case, what, what happens? The electrochemical cell starts behaving like electrolytic cell. Okay. So, charging of better. So, the anode start now become behave, behave like cathode and cathode behave like anode. So, charging of better. In this case, I will reverse the direction. So, what I will write down here? In electrolytic reaction, you have to write reaction at cathode. So this reaction, same reaction will write, but in opposite. This one will go to the left hand side and this will be in the right hand side. So I'll write now here. PbSO4 solid plus 2H2O will give you Pb. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, the screen is quite actually blurry, so we can't see properly. I can't help, dear. What to do? Wait. PBO2? 4H plus? <coughs> series plus 2. Huh. Plus 2 will give 2 electrons. Say this is the electron. SO4 2 minus and 2 electron. This is plus 2. This has become plus 4. So it has lost 2 electrons. See here. This is plus 2. All right here. Yeah. If you have any problem. So 2 electrons are lost. Mm -hmm. And anode will be. PBSO4 plus two electron C, this is plus two. When it will take two electron, it become lead. And SO4 two minus. 
edit what will get this electron and this electron will get and cancel so the overall direction will be will be two let sulfate plus two is two will be PVS PVO2 plus 4H plus plus 2SO4 minus. So please write your equals and equals. Here also, please write your equals and equals. Hmm. This is solid. So what will happen? This this uh, anode which has gone for corrosion again, the lead will lead will deposit and it will come to the original form. Due to that, you find that your car battery is going to use it for five, six, seven years like that. Okay. So this is the one. Please remember, most of us are having a vehicle at home. So in that case, if you do not, especially in this COVID, you do not go out. In that case, your car has engine has to be on. Everyone knows. And they do not know. They always say, no, the battery, we have to charge the battery. This is the equation. But interestingly, in CVSC book, this portion is missing. Okay. So if you learn the equation, only thing that when you go for discharge, that equation is there in your book, no problem. So if they write charging, only write opposite. Cathode reaction at the <coughs> first you write the reaction of the cathode, then you write the reaction of anode. Whatever there in the right hand side, strike in the left hand side. Left hand one will go to right hand. Finish. Okay. Now you have nickel cadmium cell. Nickel cadmium cell. This is generally you don't use this one. This is earlier it has been used in mobile and other, but this day generally we are using lithium cadmium cell. Okay. Mm. Because we require a huge amount of electricity in short time. So lithium has the highest tendency to give electron. So the process is faster. So in our all your Android mobile. So lithium cadmium cells are being used. Hmm. 
So in lithium cadmium cell, what happened? Anode is cadmium. Cathode is nickel dioxide. Electrolyte is potassium hydroxide. We call it alkaline cell. These are the alkalines. So, reaction at anode. What you will have now? This. It will give you don't write this. Okay. So now see what we are going to write then. So cadmium will give you CDU2 plus equals and two electrons. All right. But electrolyte is hydroxide. So immediately metal ion is going to combine with hydroxide to give you cadmium hydroxide. So as I told you, the most of the metal hydroxides are not stable. So immediately they form cadmium oxide with two H2O. So if I add it, see here. So what should I write right now here? Cadmium two H minus equals. Okay. So it will give us cadmium oxide solid plus H2O plus two electrons. So right now here, two H minus plus cadmium oxide solid H2O plus two electrons. This is reaction at anode. Now reaction at cathode. See here, nickel dioxide is plus four. So now, nickel dioxide, I can write down here, nickel 4 plus 2O2 minus. That I have already written for lead also, lead dioxide. Now see here, Ni4 plus will two, take, take two electron to become Ni2 plus. Ni Two plus is going to combine with two hydroxide to give you nickel hydroxide. This is solid. What will happen to this? Two O two. So two O two will combine with water. See, it is not acidic, so it will not combine with H plus. All right. So it will give, give you four. OH minus. Let me add this, 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 this. Okay. So now, what should I write now here? We'll write now here. Ni2 plus, then 2H2O 
plus two electron will give you Ni OH2 four is this solution. Four OH minus equals. This is the one that I'm going to get. So right now here. Reaction at this. Oh, I made a mistake. See here. See, I mean, how do I make a mistake? See here. It will not be 4 H minus. See, 2 H minus and 4 H minus now. So you have 2 H minus. Sorry, dear. Yes. Sir, the moon is there, we can't see. Hmm? Sir, the moon is there, we can't see. This much see, you can see? This one? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Up to this much you can see? Yes, sir. Then I'll write it here. Ni, OH2, and two OH minus. Now you can see. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'll write now here. Yeah. Overall reaction. So it will be cadmium S, nickel dioxide. See now here we have H2O, one here and two here. H2O. It will give you cadmium oxide, solidifies solid. Nickel dioxide. Yes. See, we are one, we are two. So one. 2 is minus 2 is minus get cancelled. So this is the one. Your problem is anything. What are you going to cover to me? Can I have to take a minute? Oh, take a minute. Yeah, I'm going to take a minute. Not to let go. So now, what about in your syllabus? We have done it. Okay, now see here. In present, what we use? We are using in our Android mobile lithium, cadmium, set. So this is anode and this is cathode. So we are taking here cadmium oxides. And electrolyte is potassium hydroxide. 
Now we'll go for 12 seconds. See, what is fuel? Don't write. It is a substance on combustion. What is combustion? Complete oxidation. Produces energy. What energy it produces? Energy will produce heat only. It produces heat. So it can be carbon. So carbon is giving you carbon dioxide. Hydrogen plus what happened? Plus you get here this heat is released. So in that case, I can write here plus heat. So it is as heat is released, should be minus delta H. Anything given means what? Minus. So here it is 2H2O plus heat, you can use CNG, methane, or hydrocarbon fuel. In that case, don't write. It will give you carbon dioxide and water. All right? So it will be two. So I write here two. So this is the one. So this also produce it, but mind you, all these reactions are redox reactions. Oxidation difference, see, oxidation state of carbon is zero, zero oxygen. Element in uncommon state is always zero. Here oxidation state of carbon is four, and this is minus. That is each carbon has lost four reactions. So now, in that case, we find, suppose this is our burner, and here you put the pot. Huge amount of the heat energy is being radiated. Hardly we can use 52, 40 to 50 percent of the heat, rest is radiated, lost. So it was thought, as it is a chemical reaction and it is a redox reaction, if you can carry out in a cell without burning it, in that case, we should be able to harness the entire amount of the energy. So that is being done in a electrochemical cell. So because of that, we call it is a fuel cell. So you read the definition of fuel cell. Hmm. Okay, I'll write down. What is a fuel cell? Fuel cells. Galvanic cells. That are designed to convert. Designed to convert the energy of combustion of fuels like 
hydrogen methane methanol etc directly into electrical energy directly into electrical energy are called well So we are going to discuss about hydrogen, oxygen, fuel cell. It is also called H two O two fuel cell. porous graphite cathode Thank you. 
is potassium hydroxide electrolyte. So right now here is K plus OH minus. As you draw it, then I'll explain. So these are the graphite electrode which are porous through which the gases can go through and they are being sent under pressure. Okay. And the cathode, the electrode contains catalyst, it is graphite, this they are being powder mixed with the catalyst and they are being compressed to make the electrode. Catalysts like platinum, silver, cobalt, sorry, cobalt oxide, etc. So now the gases are being sent. So I'll write now here reaction at anode and cathode. Don't write now. Reaction at anode. Okay, here. We know oxygen is more electronegative, so oxygen will take electron. Hydrogen is less electronegative, so it will give electron. So obviously hydrogen will be. <coughs> hydrogen has passed deposited the electron here. All right. So it will go as H plus. What you have here? Which minus is there now? So in that case, what is going to happen? Two OH H plus will combine with two OH minus to give us what? Two molecules of H two O. See here. So this and this get cancelled. So what you get? You get here. Two H minus two H two O plus two H. So this is the one that I'm going to write it here. It's a simple one because of that I did not write it separate. Okay. Could you understand now? Huh? Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Anyway, if necessary, I'll write it again here. I want that you should understand all this. Thing. So it is. I'll write down here. 2H minus equals 2H2O plus L plus 2 electrons. All right. Now reaction at cathode. See here, I'll write it, this equation again. I don't want that you should not understand.
Oxygen atom has how many electrons in our valence shell? Six. To complete octet, it takes two electrons. Okay? To become eight. So when it takes two electrons, when it takes two electrons, it becomes O2 minus. Is it not? Hmm? It, oxygen atom, see here, oxygen atom takes two electrons to become O2 minus. But what did we supply? Oxygen molecule only. So if I write here two, then I should write here four. And in that case, what will happen? You will get this. Okay, so I'll get this. Now you know it very well. Anion and cations are not stable. So this O2 minus, see, I have taken an aqua solution. So you have plenty of waters there. So it is going to react with water. Okay? To give you four weight minus. Acha, how, why should it become four weight minus? I'm giving you again here. See that. H2O breaks up to give us this. This we have already learned ionization of water. See here. This H plus combines with O2 minus to give you O2 minus H plus. See, one positive charge, two negative charge. What should I write now here? Do you know like this? Huh? Because of that, it gives us 4 OH minus. So nothing should be secret. I'll add it. Oh, I have to write 2 OH. Okay, now I'll write it now. O2 plus 2H2O plus how many electrons just again? Four electrons. So it will give us O weight minus. Okay, it is G. This is L and this is O plus. So I'll write it this. Okay. O2 G 2H2O L plus four electron gives us four weight minus. See, very care, see carefully. How many electron is here? Two electron. How many is here? Four. Then what should I do? I am multiplied by two. See what human being can do. This is the beauty of this reaction. 
ओवरऑल रिएक्शन सो इट इज टू एच टू जी दिस इन टू टू ओके सी टू इन टू टू फोर फोर वेच माइनस एंड फोर वेच माइनस कैट कैंसिल ऑल राइट सो इट इज और टू जी सी हियर हियर यू हैव टू एच टू ओ एंड हियर यू हैव फोर एच टू ओ सो आई राइट नाउ हियर टू एच टू लुक दिया इज इट नॉट द सेम इक्वेशन दैट यू गेट व्हेन वी बर्न ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इन एटमॉस्फेयर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सी एंड इन दिस केस द इलेक्ट्रॉन मूव्स फ्रॉम वन इलेक्ट्रो टू द अदर so this electron is trapped and sent to the electrical wear which generates electricity so this is the beauty of fuel cell all right so right so this one you write separately this is only for your reference so that you should not feel that how the reactions are occurring See, what is the advantage of fuel cell? Theoretically. we should be able to harness entire amount of energy into electricity because just nothing is lost nothing electrons are left in this electrode by hydrogen it travels to the cathode this travel we can connect it to electrical wire and it will flow Hundred percent, this energy can be used in our normal electric electric electricity generator. It may be hydro electricity, it may be uh, thermal electricity, it may be nuclear uh, process. Here, there we are able to harness forty to fifty percent of the energy because all of them are wasted. But in this case, theoretically, we are supposed we are supposed to get uh, the entire amount of energy into electrical energy because nothing should be lost. But it is a technical process, so it is found we could till now harness seventy percent of this one. So a lot of work is being going on, and <clears throat> in this case. Fuel cell is found to be the best substitute for produ production of electricity. What are the reasons? The reason is that in all these battery that we have discussed, in all these cases we have found the anode undergoes corrosion. A time comes, even in a secondary cell also, time comes what will happen? Whatever amount of the corrosion takes place, same amount of corrosion, same amount of after recharging also we cannot generate the same amount of anode. See, we are being constantly charging our mobile battery, but still we find it has a limited life. In this case, see, this this electrodes are made of graphite or carbon, but this carbon are not being used. in this process who reacts hydrogen acts as a anode hydrogen loses the electron not the carbon oxygen is gaining electron not this nothing is happening so you can continuously use it for years after years without changing the electrode 
how how you can use as long as you kept supplying pure and dry oxy, oxygen and hydrogen this cell is going to function okay so in this case the cell is going to function for long this is one of the reason you know in apollo space mission the apollo which landed on moon apollo 11 they have used this hydrogen oxygen fuel cell all right because the gases are lighter so when this spaceship goes the payload become less and one more advantage that cell has given this water which is being produced in the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell were being used for drinking purpose so they don't have to carry water separately for the astronauts clear second advantage is that in this case theoretically we can harness entire amount of electricity but because of some shortcomings in the process of setting up the cell we could harness till now 70% of the cell third third you know what all the process in which we generate electricity whether in large scale from hydroelectricity or from the thermal process or from nuclear process it generates huge amount of pollution the normal cell dry cell that you are using mercury cell using our car battery when you throw it after they become dead it creates e pollution these are very dangerous lead is a very dangerous poisonous substances but this this fuel cell it does not create any pollution what is the by product water only and that is also perfectly pure water so these are the advantages of fuel cells so with this i finish the battery now i'll take one more day to discuss about the process of rusting and corrosion okay after this one this chapter which chapter should i take chemical kinetics or or the surface chemistry chemical kinetics which portion i told you chemical kinetics kinetics is not at all difficult okay if you wish i can take it and the portion which i told you that i'm going to discuss is the the theory of chemical reactions two theories are there but i believe both these are being now removed from your syllabus the transition state theory and collision theory you please check and let me know all right so whatever you say i'll discuss this one with you either surface chemistry or chemical kinetics if you wish i should take both i will take both okay good night nice sir good night sir thank you thank you sir acha moina